Dragon boats are? Well, me neither. Would you believe there's dragon boats in San Pedro? Come with me as we explore dragon boats in San Pedro. Okay, we're down here in Dragon Boat Headquarters, which sounds very exciting and thrilling, which of course it is. And we're talking to Jeff. Tell me briefly about the program and what it in entails. Our, our program is all about uh, kids learning how to dragon boat race. It's a 3,000 year old Chinese tradition. We try to do everything as a team. We go out, we paddle as a team, we clean the boat as a team. As a matter of fact, our motto is one boat, one beat. Everybody doing the same thing at the same time, trying to work together as a team. What sort of age are the kids? Right now, we have a middle school team which goes up anywhere from seven to 15 years old. Terrific, and before we leave all these paddles behind us, what are they? These are all our team paddles that we use. Uh, every kid gets one. But what about kids who are watching this and saying, I want to get involved? What sort of uh, process is involved in doing this? It's very simple. All you have to do is come down on Sunday mornings and jump in the boat and try it out. And if you like it, you can join. So you don't have to have any nautical sort of maritime background? Uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Most of our paddlers are first year, first time paddlers. Why did you involve your kids in this program? It is something different. Um, a lot of people don't know about this sport, so if we could bring the awareness to the sport of dragon boat racing, you know, to the youth. That's an interesting thing. How did you hear about it? You said it's not very well known. How did you hear about it? Actually, we were happened to be walking three years ago. This is going to be their fourth year in the team. And we just happened to walk by and we saw the banner that was on the, on the gate. And then that's how I came into it. What sort of things that you learn? I mean, when you first came here, were you a bit nervous? Definitely, yeah. And you overcame your nervousness by doing what? Um, everyone was kind of nervous. Like, we were all just together, like, not knowing what to do. So everyone kind of just learned together. And when you actually got into the water, I mean, did you have any idea what to expect? Uh, not really. I kind of thought it was somewhat like kayaking. So I kind of knew, like, t kind of what to do with that. And what about you? When you first went in a boat, um, have you been in the water? I mean, have you done all that kind of stuff before? Uh, no, not really. And what, what happened when you got in the boat? How did you feel? I was nervous, but like our coaches were really kind and they like helped us through it, so they knew what to do. And when they finally graduate, if that's a word, uh, how do you feel that they will, you know, relish the whole experience? I'm proud of them. I think I'm, I, they come to practice, they have to get up early when they don't want to. This is a weekend for them. They're busy in high school as well, so this is something that, you know, they, I'm proud of them for doing. We're talking with Dave Turple, who is a volunteer, and I applaud you being a volunteer, but I see you have an intriguing medallion around your neck. What is that? Well, I'm pretty proud of the, uh, the youth team we have here. They, uh, they're, they're kids of all ages from up to 15 years old, and, and they won a medal last year at the Long Beach Dragon Boat Festival. The children, and these are sometimes younger than junior high kids, they competed against high school kids and actually ended up winning a medal. I'm real proud of them. I think one of the many interesting things is that dragon boating uh, apparently goes way back to, what, Asia and China? I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have got no idea. Dragon boating. Dragon boating is an ancient Chinese sport. And one of the things that uh, they do at the festivals that they have in Long Beach, or and, well, just about every festival, they, they have these Chinese monks come out. And Chinese monks? Chinese monks. Wow. And just before the Dragon Boat Festival starts, these, these monks come out, they bless the boat, boats, and then they paint the eyes on the dragon, because each boat has a dragon head, of course. They paint the eyes on so that the dragons can, can watch and see where they're going. I think another interesting thing is when you look at a dragon boat, give our viewers an idea, what does a dragon boat cost? Most of the boats that you, you would see at a festival are running around $8,000 a piece. $8,000? $8,000. And do you have uh, 
<laughs> drives to generate funds to buy them? We, we actually have, uh, at the end of our season, at the end of our youth season, we have a, a barbecue, and we have, you know, 50-50 split the pot, and then people will, will donate items for the barbecue, and they will, will do a bidding, and whoever bids wins it. So we, we're raising a little money that way. We always, we're always looking for sponsors to help, cause, because one of the things that we're trying to do here is, is buy ourselves a new dragon boat. Terrific. Tell me, what about uh, the kids that you're involved with? What do you feel that Dragon Boating Program provides and gives kids today? Well, I think, uh, I think mainly it, it, it shows the kids teamwork. Uh, they have to work together. And actually in the Dragon Boat, there's, there's about 18 or sometimes 20 kids, 20 paddlers in the boat. And they sit really close to each other. So they have to all work together. It's we were just looking at uh, some kids in a dragon boat, and I guess it's obviously very important that they all paddle the same time and the same way. Oh, absolutely. They, they've got to paddle at the same time. If they don't paddle at the same time, the, the kids are clanking paddles, and they, they're just not going anyplace. If everyone works together as a team, then the boat goes fast. Looking at the kids in the boat that we just saw, um, I would imagine that this is very, um, how can I say this tactfully, very stressful on their arms. They, that's one of the reasons we have these practices. They've got to build up muscles on their arms. Uh, actually, in, in the whole, you get a whole body workout if you, if you do it right. You lean forward, you twist your body, you use your legs to push, and use your arms to pull. To close out our conversation to people who are watching, what would you say to someone, get involved in this program because? Get involved in this program because it's a healthy, fun sport for, for adults and for children. Ready? Go! It's a, a form of exercise and it's a form of mental preparedness for anything in life, basically. So there you have it, another edition of Armchair Traveller and some more information about dragon boats. Until next time, I'm John Clayton and thank you for watching. I'll see you on Armchair Traveller. Let her ride. Right up. Salute. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, you have to eat like four tenders. So that's all you do. Band music. All right.